सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज राजेश एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय चैनल रिंको आर्ट सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई वाज प्लानिंग टू मेक एनिमेट सीसी ट्यूटोरियल बिकॉज इन माय लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव शोन यू टू थिंग्स दैट इज द टूल बार एंड द टाइम लाइन सो बाय द प्रोसेस आई वॉज प्लानिंग टू मेक द एनिमेट सी सी ट्यूटोरियल आई थॉट वाई नॉट टू स्टार्ट द एनिमेशन ट्यूटोरियल बिकॉज इन एनिमेशन ट्यूटोरियल आई यूज द tools and the functions of animate cc anyhow so i thought to start animation tutorial but before that i need your suggestions that's why i kept a poll on this the result of which you can see over here and i got good suggestion from my subscribers my viewers so from today onwards i am starting animation tutorials so today is the first class of animation in animate cc okay so without much ado let's get started Hey, welcome everyone. You are watching the channel Rinku Art. So, to start with the animation, first we need to know about the timeline over here. Okay, this is the place from where we can use the key points or the drawing we can register by placing the points over here so this is called the timeline the place where we will draw is this area this is called the workspace but to do the animation this is very important so how to place the keyframe in this timeline so today i'll explain that one so to start with please observe carefully here this is a blank dot okay blank means there is no color inside so this is blank this is a blank frame at the beginning when you will open animate cc then you will see this type of blank dot that means nothing is there so to fill this blank dot we need to draw something we need, need to register that here something is there if i'll take a brush over here and draw something maybe one circle you'll see this blank frame converts to a black dot okay that means one drawing is registered over here likewise if i'll take another frame then i need to click over here that means this frame is selected and then i'll hit f7 for blank keyframe okay blank keyframe means here is no drawing but before it has one drawing okay so in the second frame as i have told you in my before video that this is the frame current frame okay so second one is as you can see over here it is second so it is the second frame but there is no key frame over here key frame these are called key frames okay so this and this are the same this and this both are same drawing this one but here it is breaking breaking means we have nothing in the workspace or it has no drawing to register okay so it is a blank frame so if i'll draw something suppose i am drawing a square so again it is registered as you can see the dot became black okay so this is the first frame this is the second frame of drawing actually frame this one is the frame and this one is the frame but as per drawing this is the first drawing and this is the second drawing so what is this then this is the time up to which it will stay means this one will hold for another frame this two are the same frame but this frame will hold for this frame only there is no other frame included with this if i'll hit here f5 that means two frames are there for this drawing if i will hit again f5 over here then again this second drawing has three frames the same frames okay if i'll draw over here anything we can draw by pressing f7 for blank frame like this and draw anything i want to draw like this and it is like this okay okay let me undo it by pressing control z and here if i'll press f6 what will happen see nothing will happen because this is the same drawing from frame 1 f6 if i'll hit over here then it means i am putting a key frame on the present frame so here what is the present frame or the current frame frame 1 
so if i'll hit f6 means again on that i am putting a keyframe okay so i am registering the same drawing twice if i want a blank keyframe then i can hit f7 over there but it is already selected and if uh, selecting this i'll press f7 then what it will happen see f7 nothing is happening okay because it is already registered so the main thing you need to remember over here is number 1 f6 for insert keyframe you can call it keyframe or only key number 2 f7 inserting blank frame f5 insert frames if you want to increase this frame up to maybe 10 frame 10th frame you want to finish the frame so what you will press f5 okay so if i will hit see this red line is there and if you want to increase the frame then you can just hit f5 1 2 3 4 5 okay only f5 you need to hit and you will increase the frames so you need to explore these three buttons on your keyboard how it is working this is important because without this you can't do animation properly so this is the point first point now next i'll delete all and here i'll draw one circle and next i'm going to draw here in frame 10 i need to draw another circle okay but i want this circle to go from here to here on the same line okay so here i'll click and i'll what i'll press i can press f6 it will be the same drawing so i want some other drawing i need to draw maybe square so what i'll hit i'll hit f7 and i'll switch on the onion skin as i have told you in my previous video that with onion skin we can see our previous or next drawing okay i'll hit this one and if it is here suppose then i can drag it and see the last drawing so right now i am here in the blank frame and my previous drawing was this so i want my drawing to be somewhat here okay so i'll draw square or rectangle whatever it may be okay so now i have two drawings in different frame 1 and 10 okay so i want this drawing to get convert into square on 10th frame so how to do this i will hit the onion skin and i will drag this one then you can see the end drawing so what i'll do i'll insert a keyframe in between f6 or f7 whatever you want you can hit if suppose you would hit f6 okay then what you need to do first you have to hit the v that is the arrow tool or selection tool just drag it because this is the new frame you have registered over here so this is the placement but here you don't want the circle you just need to modify a bit so what i'll do i'll erase this area and this area and what i'll do i'll do like this okay first hit this one to remove the onion skin and i'll see like this see okay but it is very jerky so to make it smooth animation you need to draw more drawings in between so here i'll hit once again and again i'll hit f6 f6 means the same drawing over here but i will change it by changing the shape little bit let me first switch on the onion skin and i'll drag this to this because i only need this frame and this frame now this is this and this one is this one so i need to take this drawing from here to here okay and what i'll do i'll try to make it little flat like this so now it is going like this and converting to this shape and again i need to change the shape from here to here into square so i am hitting over here and pressing f6 now i need not have to see this up to this i need to see okay so i'll take this from here to here maybe a little up and i will erase this area 
okay so i'll hide this and i'll see now see okay so this is a uh, animation but it is still not looking that smooth it has two reasons why it is not looking smooth because of the timing and another one is the spacing what does it mean i'll explain you all these things in my further videos but for the time being you should just know about this timeline because this is important you need to know all the things uh, how to place the keys in this timeline okay so here you can see one gap is there i i don't want this gap so what i'll do i'll bring this to this by holding shift and now all the keyframes are selected i'll hold this and drag it to here okay so if i'll play it so now from here to here it is changing to rectangle this is a rough animation you can do your experiment and see with this okay you can take the keyframe from here to any place you want by just clicking and dragging to any place of your choice so this is what you need to do in your homework you can say to get acquainted with this timeline and keyframes okay so i hope you understand this and quickly i'll upload another video in which we'll learn timing and spacing or maybe other things which are required for this animation okay very small videos i'll upload to get an idea regarding the animation process okay so thanks for watching this video and i hope you like this video and if you like it hit a thumbs up and share this video with your family and your friends and if you are here for the first time don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and take care bye bye